Hey everyone, welcome to part two of the Simple Core 300 by 300 build. So, I have uh, mounted my bed. I have decided to go with a 400 millimeter 2020 extrusion in a T. So I have a 400 millimeter 2020 here, and then I have a 400 millimeter running down the center. Um, there's just too much space or it's too far forward for that to be all 3d printed i really was worried that it would be wobbling or not supported well in the back so i decided might as well just add kind of a t for this size of a build it doesn't really increase the cost much maybe ten dollars twelve dollars something like that for two 400 millimeter extrusions and then um, this also gives users much better bed mounting options if they want to run you know a metal plate they want to run glass they want to run g10 they want to run you know whatever they want it's a goal of this printer is to be able to have users make it their own use what components they have on hand things like that so i think this made sense in this scenario uh, there might be updates and revisions to it i don't know if i'm 100 percent happy Basically, this 2020 just uh, presses into this slot here. That way it gives it a little bit of give. Um, just do remember for this printer here, whenever a print finishes, this the build plate always docks down to the bottom, which essentially levels the bed on its own. So when I bring the bed up here and I do my three-point tramming, the bed is moving like less than a millimeter there's enough give in each corner for it to actually compensate for that. Um, I don't need spherical bearings or anything like that to, you know, have the bed so much give because the bed's never going to be tilted in, in an extreme scenario. Like I say, it's less than a millimeter that we're trying to adjust for to make it flat. So these can be uh, relatively stiff on each corner and the bed will still have enough uh, play. There, there's enough play in all of the mechanicals here to allow for those kind of minor corrections. So again, this printer is a prototype. I will be changing things as I go. I wanna get this thing printing first and then I can start, you know, changing things here and there, making things stronger, you know, revising things, so. You can see here I have mounted my belts. Motion system is essentially all done here. I haven't had to change any of the parts, of course. I took everything from the 200 build. I just uh, made some quick brackets here so I could mount my existing panel, back panel there, because uh, I'm cheap and I'm not gonna order a new panel just for this printer. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been working on. I also do have basically all the clicky mount or the clicky probe stuff you can kind of see there. It's all done. I just have to make the, the dock uh, that will attach to the frame that will be specific to this printer. Um, really uh, thanks to Double T who uh, told me about the clicky mount he designed for the EVA tool head. Um, it's really awesome. I'm very excited to actually have the clicky probe on this printer. So again, big thanks, big thanks to Double T for that. Um, I'm, 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 I'll show in part three maybe or uh, one of the update videos. I'll show this printer homing and doing its three-point bed leveling and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's essentially it for this update. I just wanted to do a quick update on the progress. Uh, again. I am just going to be, I, I would like to just add a silicone heater directly to the bottom of this G10. I have no how good, no idea how good printing uh, on this G10 will be. I am building this printer to generally print PLA. I would like to try PETG. Um, I don't know if this G10 surface will, will work well with that. If it doesn't, um, I'll figure out another solution. I'll just add like a PEI magnetic sheet on top of it so not a big deal my first goal is to see how flat is this g10 so i don't have a heater for this build plate yet so i'm going to just be putting painter's tape of course down here and i'm going to be doing a lot of print testing with that making sure it's flat making sure leveling is working making sure the printer is functioning well um, we'll try to print some high speed stuff and things like that so 
definitely going to be a lot of experimentation and a lot of double checking, making sure this printer is printing well, that type of thing. Again, it is a prototype. So thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate all the new subscribers. We're at a 700 right now. Um, there'll be a Patreon in my description, the GitHub for this printer. Um, also, if you want to order Fetus Hot Ends in Canada, I have a 3dhub.ca affiliate link. Save 10% off. And uh, feel free to comment below. Thanks, everyone.